So I want to do a quick review of something I didn't realize last week when I was cutting this out. This is the file I actually cut. And that, that's the font I was actually looking for. Um, and that's not what I got. Um, what I got was, and I'll move this over here on this whiteboard. What I got was this. So you can see the points, where are my finger at here? The points here where it comes out and back in and out and back in all the way across all these was the look I was going for. Gives it that, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's a cool look, I like it. And then the A, it was supposed to, I'm not really point with my finger without doing this, supposed to come in, over, up, and out, and not cut out that whole section. Yet, I got it coming down and going out, or I'm not sure if it came down or up, but it just didn't, look like that at all and the K has this lumpy whole side on it and it was supposed to have feet like this one up here started to work but I think my, my up and my down which would be I guess my Y is working fine and my left and right which I think would be my X is not working fine. So let's go back over to the machine here. It sat like, well, it's painted obviously, so it looks a little better than the rest of it, but it sat like this. So as the machine runs this way, I think it's cutting correct. But as it runs this way, I don't think it's working. And, and maybe just in one direction, or maybe it's backlash. I'm not sure because the outside of the pot looks very good. So once it starts to travel in one direction, it does okay. It's that quick back and forth that's not working when it goes this way. And since this has been replaced and this belt's pretty tight now, this way is working fine, I believe. But I don't think this way is working great. Or this belt's just too loose. I think I'm going to try and tighten that belt a little bit. Uh, I think there's tensioners on that. So also, let me um, let me try this. I'm gonna try and turn it on and move it. I can move it left to right. One second, I'm gonna try and move it left to right for you guys. Maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can move it. Okay. So let me. But I don't know if this is gonna give us any definition or not. Okay. Here it goes. Right there. Where is that coming from? Because I'm not hitting back here. So I don't know what's hitting right there. Something is dragging right there. And if you look, when it dragged, it was right in this area. So I'm gonna get some stuff out of the way and try and find out what is dragging. Maybe. Maybe something on my back pole is dragging somewhere, or something back in there is dragging. But I'm going to take this sheet off, and I'm going to try and figure that out. I'll be right back. Okay, I did I did wipe this bar down, because it sounded like it was grinding across this bar a little bit. I checked my belt in the back, and, and the belt looks pretty good. I won't say it looks perfect, but it looks pretty good still. But I did notice when I was reaching back in here, this... I can't get the camera right. This pen has dropped way down. That pen should not be sticking out more than a quarter inch like this pen, maybe half inch, like this pen. And that's the pen these two bearings write on. And this pen is the pen that these two bearings write on. So I wonder if this pen has slipped out and this bearing is causing the problem. So I'm gonna try and push that pen back up. I'm gonna undo these uh, threads. And you can see this one actually had some problems right here and it split. So maybe that wasn't holding good. Uh, and, and you know there's three of them, but maybe that wasn't holding good and that pen slipped out and that's why this bearings Having trouble and you can see it's really wearing on there a little well not as bad as the bottom one But it's wearing across the black now which you would expect because it does that on this one up here, too. It does wear So I'm gonna check that and see if that's what it is I'm gonna try and get that pen back up in there 
My belt, I checked it. It's loose. I'm not going to say it's not loose. But it's not that loose. Yeah, it is kind of that loose. So we're going to do some adjustments. And then we're going to try and move it back and forth and see if we're still getting that gritty, grindy stuff. All right, so... Get dive in here and show you what we got. I actually took the uh, I took the tape uh, the tub out so I could work on it a little easier. It makes it easier to move around without the tub in there. And with the water out of it right now, evaporated, it uh, it was not so bad to pull out. There's the there's the bar that I'm always talking about that raises this in. So I, I think I'm gonna do that because I can't get past that without fixing how this holds in. I did tighten that. I did raise that up. It had slipped down, and I uh, sprayed these with some lithium grease. They were kind of, the bearings are kind of munchy and probably need to be replaced at some point here. That could be a big part of this. Uh, they tend to get a lot of dust in them, and you can see by dust what I mean here. You know, this stuff gets on everything. Even look at my ground down here, it's just full of that metal dust. So, a good chance those bearings just need to be all pulled and replaced and in fact this piece right here I could not get that to go back in tight because as you can see it was kind of split at one point so it's, the bottom two are tight but the top one is not and now I need to get back in there and adjust that and it looks like it's all the way adjusted so I'm gonna loosen it and then undo that those two uh, wire ties try to pull them up as tight as I can and then try and tighten this back well I'm sorry yeah tighten this back up and pull it tight again because it's 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 kind of flipping around so we'll do that next okay we're tight hopefully not too tight because it's a pain to adjust but you can hear it all right we've we've greased we've greased at the bearings we've raised that pin that was lowered back up where it belongs we've tightened that belt considerably Hopefully not too much. And now we're going to try moving the X. This is the XX. I always get them backwards. This is the X-axis though. You know what? I have a motor switch. Now we can turn that on before I start. Here we go. Still sounds a little crunchy. But moving without jerking. It's towards this end where it jerked a lot. You can kind of hear it, but it's moving. A much cleaner move. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a run now. I I'm kind of I'm gonna redo this one a bit again too because. If you can see, that's really loose as well. Now that one wasn't cutting so bad, but it it seems to run better on that one. So I'm gonna do the same on this one here. I'm gonna readjust this and tighten that up again because that's as far as that one can go as well. So we'll we'll do that one and then we'll cut something tighter. Much tighter. Okay, uh, tighter seems to be better. Anyways, it seems to be moving good. So, let's put the table back in, uh, the uh, bed, water bed back in, which I'm not going to put water in. It get, it's getting too close to winter, and it'll all just freeze. And let's try and cut that same design that we cut earlier, and see what we get. And, and see if we get that same problem with the C, or the O, or any of that. Alright, we load it all up again, and we'll get it going. So before I put this back in, the uh, water table, I took all the slats out and I'm gonna clean up all this junk real quick. It's just, it's just a lot of excess crystals from the uh, borax that I put in there. And as note, my cross seams here that I put all the, the slots into is just bed frames, angle iron, and I, uh, Slot them as you can see, weld the two together and slot them. And then I place a piece of rebar on the inner side here. <coughs> on both of these, I do that. And what that does is it keeps those slots up off the bed about a quarter inch. 
letting the water flow freely across the bottom. Obviously these sit on the bottom and they don't let water flow freely, but there are some slots that can go through and they're up against the edge anyway. So let's clean this out really quick. Run. Goggles on. Your goggles will come on in just a minute. I'm gonna make sure it's working first before I go all trouble trying to do that. See how the adjust is working? Okay, it's done, and uh, this will shut up in just a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it once that shuts up. Right, I had to actually turn that off. It wasn't going to shut up. Let me zoom out, back out because I zoomed way in. So I'm going to compare apples to apples, or in this case, chili peppers to chili peppers. Uh, so I did have one, one issue. Uh, when it was driving around, that motor uh, right there bumped into my big old heavy weight to try and keep this whole thing from moving around. And I did one time kind of bump it, but I don't know if I bumped it enough to move it. So that's, that's good. I think I just bumped it. I will say the A fell out. That's bad. Kind of bummed out about that. Nothing we couldn't weld back on because, you know, it happened here too. But in the uh, original design, it did not happen. So it's kind of cooling down. I don't want to try and grab it with my bare hands yet. See if I can pull it out with a magnet. You know what? The letters are starting to fall out pretty easy. The F's haven't fallen out. I don't know why. Let me get a pair of gloves on one second. And I'm going to try and knock these out with my bare hands here. Uh, put the H over something to see if it falls out. Not, not going to fall out that easy. And this O was over. No, it fell out pretty easy. Let's see if these F's fall out. The F's look like they're going to fall. They're, they're just kind of like an interesting letter, so they're not just popping out necessarily. That one, that one fell out pretty easy. That one wants to fall out, but something's holding it up. There it is, it just got caught in there. So the H is not falling out as easy. I'm not sure what's going on there. It did it did get stuck on the H. I'm not sure where it's stuck. Uh, you can see it's cut all the way around. And you can see light all the way around it, right? So uh, maybe right there it's got a little knock together. But I bet if I dropped it, I could probably it regardless. I'll get it out of there with a screwdriver, I'm sure without damaging anything. But the thing is, and I'm gonna lay it over this for a second. And I'm not gonna lay it over there. I'm gonna take that off of there. There we go. I can do it side by side, just under the words cook. Uh, Cause that's where it really shows was when it was going back and forth. When it was. So you can see that was the font I was looking for. In the last one, Minus the A, obviously. And this is what I got in the last one. So, mostly improved right there. As it goes down, it was going back and forth. It wouldn't go back and forth. But here, you can see it is going back and forth, and it's catching the stuff it's supposed to catch. So this will work. I can, I can sand this down and make this work. I do need to weld that little piece of the A back in. Uh, but other than that, this one will work. This was kind of a bit of a fail. I was upset a little bit. And you can really see it in the C as well, where it, you know, look at it like that, where it got really fat at the bottom and wouldn't wouldn't come back wouldn't come back around and in. It just it snagged whenever it was going back in. It just wouldn't go back in. And I will make the assumption that had to do with the Y. I'm sorry, the X. I'm never gonna get that right. The X axis uh, dragging up because either that pen had fallen down or the bearings were getting crunchy, or the belt was... Yeah. Sorry. The belt was loose. So I did all three. 
I sprayed the bearings with some lithium grease. They're still a little crunchy. Probably need to be replaced. I tightened the belt up. It's really tight now. And I did put that pin back in. But it, it's in tight, but it still has a loose top to it. Because I can't, uh, with that plastic thread cracking along the, um, the where the bolt goes, the uh, set screw goes in. I couldn't, I can't tighten the top of it. So, but there's too tight. So that's, I guess that's enough for holding it. We'll see. Uh, we'll have to read 3D print that black part back there. Uh, same as that one there, but on the other side. Yeah, my cord's not gonna go that far and I have no power left on my phone. So I have to keep plugged in right now. So this is gonna work. We'll sand this down. We'll get it ready to go. We'll fix that A with a little weld. I gotta find a little piece for the A in the underside there somewhere. And we're good to go. So awesome, excited. Uh, it's running good again. Um, little up to date, you know, updated parts here and there. Little uh, fine tuning to clean it up, and it's running good. So we'll chat with you guys later.